Hi, in this video we're going to show you an app you could use to set your background windows to be transparent so you can kind of see through them when you're not using them. So let's say let's open up some folders here, Documents, Web Browser, Word Document. All right, so the app is called Trans Others, so it's just a executable that you run. So you download it, unzip it, run it. So you can see this window's active, so you can see it fully, and then these are transparent. And then if you click on this one, now this one's active, and the other windows are transparent. Let me shrink it down a little bit here. And then as you click on them, it changes. And you could also go in here, right-click on the icon, because it'll be running in your system tray. Click on Settings. It'll open this Notepad file, and then you could change the transparency level. So the lower the number, the more transparent it is. So let's go all the way down to 20. Save it. Let's actually restart the program here. We'll exit it. So now everything's really transparent, even the taskbar. Your desktop icons will stay the same, but your taskbar and other apps in the background will become transparent like that. If you go back and then change it to something even higher, you don't want to go too low because then you're not going to be able to see anything in the background here. Say 200. Save it. So you can see it actually updated on its own here. So you probably don't need to close it and reopen it. Depends on what you change it because you might not notice it. So now we're just a little bit transparent, as you can see. And then, of course, you could go back and set, set the default back to 150 if you want. Save it. But it's probably a better idea just to close it out just to make sure it applies. Like so. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the uh, Trans Other tool. And if you want it to run every time you open your computer, you're going to have to put a shortcut in your startup items. Otherwise, you're just going to have to restart it from the executable file every time you want it to run. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.